First things first, as usual, let's take a look at the Euro US dollar. We're watching, by the way, as well with crude oil for a 30 minute bear flag. That would take place in about 20 minutes though. Euro US dollar still cruising on down. Momentum still looks weak on the 240s and the 120s. Uh, we're sitting right on a bit of support here. We went right down to and poked a little bit of support down at the lows. So keep an eye on that. By the way, Euro is breaking through that support on the tick charts for the potential short. Speaking of the Euro. So you have a potential short in the Euro based on a 500 tick head and shoulders. Momentum in the 120s looks bearish, 240s looks bearish, 30s, 60s look bearish. So dollar loony. No, I'm not getting in it yet. Dollar Looney looks bullish in the 120s. Neutral in the dailies, potentially forming a bull flag on the weeklies, which if we form a bull flag on the weeklies, that'll be very bullish for that. By the way, crude will get ready to break through that trend line to the downside, so keep an eye on crude. Aussie Dollar. Oh, dailies are neutral. Really not really good setup in Aussie dollar. Dollar yen. There you go, crude's breaking through that first 500 tick trend line. So watch for crude to continue to head lower. Dollar yen, starting to break through the resistance, which is bullish. So watch for that to continue to climb. Aussie Kiwi. Bullish in the 120s. If it goes above 1.10296, you'll have a bull flag on the 240s as well, which would suggest it goes higher. Dollar Swissy. Bullish still, I keep climbing. The cable, you have a head and shoulders in your 120s. Your neckline is going to be down at 1.55866. 1.55866. Euro Yen. Breaking through that 120 minute trend line, you'll have support right down here at 135.917. Breaks through that should go lower. Dollar peso still looks bullish. Crude starting to bounce back up again. Again, I'm watching crude for a potential bear flag on the uh, 30 minute chart. Euro loony. You have really well defined support right down here. If it breaks to that, it should go lower. That's down at 1.4199. Pound yen. Looking bullish, let it keep climbing. Euro pound starting to break down again. You're sitting around top of this trend line. It came down off the head and shoulders yesterday that we talked about. Uh, looks bearish still. Let it continue to sell off. Apple. Apple's got support right down at 121.99. Breaks of that should go lower. Is crude a short? Yeah, it's a potential short from where we are. Still looks weak, still looks bearish.
I'm still waiting on the bear flag on the 30s though. I don't know if that's going to happen, however. Amazon, nothing. Tesla, nothing. Google, Bond's still coming down off that bearish divergence. Google, nothing. Chipotle, still climbing. Let it keep climbing. I'm not going to fight that. Netflix, testing this 120 minute trend line here. Breaks above yesterday's high. Technically, we should see it go higher based on that 120 minute trend line break. Again, Bond's still pulling back off that bearish divergence. Price line, nothing there. Gilead, nothing there. LinkedIn, jumping up towards resistance. That's going to be at two thirty three eighteen. Don't really have a strong opinion on it though. Salesforce. If you took the short and bonds off of the bearish divergence on the 500 tick, you may want to consider, or on the 500 tick, you may want to consider partial profit, break even at a minimum. Salesforce, we're flirting with that daily trend line still. Facebook. Again, the year is a potential short as well. Facebook, nothing. General Motors, nothing. Baidu, yes, Google is a potential short also. There you go, crude starting to move, which is good. You have a 30 minute bear flag in crude oil. Watch for that to continue to move lower. Baidu, nothing, Yahoo. Nothing. If you break yesterday's low in Yahoo, you'll have a bear flag on the dailies. Next step for crude oil is you'll need to break today's lows down at 48.65. Then we'll have support right after that at 48.53. So far looking good though. Twitter. 
dropping way down off the weekly bear flag, which is fine by me. Boeing. Nothing. Fire eye. LinkedIn reports this afternoon. Thanks, Kathy. FireEye, nothing. Biogen, nothing. Halliburton, nothing. QQQs. If you break yesterday's low, you'll have a bear flag. So if it goes down below 110.94, you'll have a bear flag on the dailies. TLT, if you break yesterday's high, so if it goes above, 121.17, you'll have a bull flag on the daily, so which is going to be gapping above that. So you have a daily bull flag, which suggests that goes higher. SPY, you have a daily no return, which suggests it goes lower. If you break yesterday's low, you'll have a bear flag, which is at 209.31. So stock market opens up here in about nine minutes. We'll keep an eye on everything.